Hello, welcome. Take a moment, solve this problem, try it out, see what you can do, and then press play and we will solve it together. Okay, so it says which diagram shows an angular rotation of one radian on the unit circle? Remember what a radian is. Now, it's a way of measuring angles based on the radius of a circle. So if this is the radius of my circle, that's the length of that radius, right? Imagine what that length would look like if it were wrapped around the circle. Like, look at all these choices, right? They all have the same radius. Here's the radius here. Radius is here, right? And here. Now you can tell these two might be too long, right? They're showing that, they're saying that this radius, if you wrap it around, it would go all the way around the circle. That's too long. That's the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r, or about 2 pi radiuses, a little over 6 radiuses. This is a half of a circumference, so it's about pi radiuses, or pi radians, as you would say, and it's about 3.14 radiuses. This right here, if you, that's about half of a pi. This is a full pi. So this is half of that. This is half of pi radians, right? This is two pi radians. This is pi radians. This is pi over two radians. And that's not one, though, right? 3.14 divided by two is not one, right? It's a little over one. Uh, about, sorry, a little bit over one and a half. So here you can see though that this, right, this right here, that's about pi radians. I'm uh, sorry, that's about one radian. One radian. Um, and you can see that the lanes are really close to each other. It's about 57 degrees or so. And uh, the idea of a radian is just the number of radiuses that are being stretched around the circle. All right, I hope that helped.